What's up YouTube, back again with me. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a 3D animation looks like this. This is looks very, very um, complicated to uh, make it if you see it, but if you know how to do it, it's not really as uh, complicated as you thought. So I'm gonna show you how to make uh, this 3D animation using Blender and also you can uh, follow him. Shout out for uh, Zoriba in Instagram and also you can follow him on Instagram. I will put his link on description down below all right so everyone uh, let's go move into the blender and first of all I'm gonna delete this camera and this uh, light also and let's get move up click tab and let's get move this one into the right side like this zip a and let's get add some empty plane axis and zip a again let's get an uh, some icosphere if you already do this, don't forget to save your file. If you already save your file, let's get move again here. Click this tab and then go into this um, modifier. Add some array and here we are. Deactive for relative offset and activate for object offset. If you already do this, let's get move here. If you see some empty, but here we are. I uh, will uh, changing the name. So we'll be like that. And here will be some, sorry. And here will be um, empty sphere. All right, we'll be like that. So first of all, go here. And we already have some plane axis. Choose this plane axis. And after that, just rotate like that. So back again here. And let's get increase into five. I think this is um, too close, so let's get move it like, ah, uh, sorry, too far, I mean, so we can try to get very close into this object, so it will be looks like this. If you already do this, let's get, um, choose all of these and try to grab it here. And after that, grab it, uh, this, this, this one. And if you already do this, go, go into the, um, add modifier and we will add some subdivision surface and we have to see if it looks cool or not. This is doesn't look cool and I'm gonna uh, grab it here again. All right, for this uh, for this one, for this one here, I'm gonna choose all of this. Oops, why? Right, I'm gonna uh, scale down exactly like that. So you see, and after that, we can try to take it up. All right, and will be looks like that. And after that, I want to increase into uh, level three for the viewport and set smooth. And see, this is not really so smooth, but um, here we can try to using something like this first. And then we can uh, choose this cube. And if you already choose that cube, let's go add modifier again. Uh, just keep it here, activate our uh, relative offset and just changing uh, factor X into zero and for Z1 using 1000, activate for object offset. And here we will using some empty spare. If you already do this, go here count and just try to 50 will be a lot looks like this and if you click this uh, empty sphere we can try to see and see this is a uh, good uh, looks good and will be looks like this all right so now we can move here into the um, uh, into the object and we can try to move it this one so will be looks like that this is looks amazing and and now let's get at some camera um, see from the up here, zip A, camera, and then control, uh, control alt zero. And here we are, we can, uh, using some poker line, more a little bit, uh, not, uh, not so longer, maybe just like 150. All right, will be looks like that. But this is the ca uh, the camera doesn't, doesn't even in the middle. So I gotta, oops, sorry. Let's get uh, this on. All right, cool. So now we can try to grab it up more, I think, and try to take it down again for the plane axis. So it will be looks like that. But here we are. We can try to move it very close by using uh, the camera here. So just move it closely like that. And here we are. We can back into the object for the empty spear. Just using like 11 and it looks like that so here we are i'm gonna uh, grab it the another window we can put here and 
we can move into the render and we will using cycles and for the GPU if you have it and just using 10 all right that looks cool so if you already do that let's get at some light just try to grab it up and we can see where is it all right it's here so I, I'm gonna I grab it into the right side and rotate here just try to take it up a little bit like that if you already do this let's go move into the um, viewport settings let's get a waiting of a second and now go into this light and here I'm gonna add into like 1000 and it will be looks like that but I'm gonna uh, add some a plan here I just scale into 9 and after that we have to try to finding um, some light where is uh, where it got so we will are uh, using some a plan for reflection we will are uh, using here this is a different between uh, without this plan and with this plan so we can see see this is looks uh, more dark than before this is looks better so let's get a try go here into this um, world or scene and I'm gonna uh, try to take it into like uh, 2000 oh sorry into like uh, 4000 so it will be looks bright like this but we can try to grab it up and here we will using ellipse so it will be looks like that and I'm gonna try to uh, split here it will be looks like that so I want to hide all of these all right so now let's go move into the um, some shader editor will be here we are we have it here all right guys so First of all, I'm gonna add some mix header. If you already have this mix header, just put here and then I'm gonna duplicate this one. But before that, I want to add it here. Bring down the roughness, bring up the metallic and I just want to have some, uh, you know, like metallic color. And here I'm gonna use some Christensen Burley and bring up the uh, transmission just a little bit like that. All right, so, but before that, uh, we can uh, changing uh, light more. And um, I will do it later, by the way. So let's get duplicate this one by clicking Shift D and connect this Percival uh, BSD app into the second one. Shift A, let's get add some ambient. So you can see uh, about the different thing. And also we will add some color ramp. We will put the color ramp here, connect this um, color into the effect. This color into the fact all right if you already do this let's get move it here and let's get uh duplicate this color ramp and put exactly here connect this color into the best color and let's get add some noise texture all right put here Control t and after that if you see this is the fact into the fact here all right and this one object into the vector and it will be looks like that and here we are we can uh, changing the color I'm gonna add some blue color. All right, this is still white because um, I did, well, we didn't changing yet. All right, if you see, this is something uh, different. So now, how to uh, make it look cool? We can grab it this color here into the right side, so it will looks like that. And into the up here, I'm gonna add some a different color, which is like some purple something of purple like that and um, we can try to take it up more for a metallic bring down the roughness more so it looks like that all right now let's go into the um, film here so into the film here and I'm gonna increase into two see this is more uh, bright and have some more light all right and after that we can um, we can uh, do some editing here we can see and I'm gonna increase more and also for detail but here I think just using like uh, 10 was okay and will be looks like that if you see something this is looks um, better right see all right guys so we have uh, something cool now all right so guys now you can see if you are going to this object and then move this sphere will be looks like that so we will make it looks like that first of all here i just want to uh make it i think in uh sorry in 250 
and here we are we can click here for the um insert the keyframe and we will uh using into maybe like 20 vibe all right here and i'm gonna show you maybe just like 59 click again and let's get take it down into the um 11 here all right let's get click again so now we can see it's kind of looks cool looks cool so not bad all right so guys um this is the animation this will be looks like that it's just simple all right it will be looks like that so guys um tutorial for today it's done and if you want to have file exactly same as in the thumbnail you can join to be my patron link on description and also you can check it at gumroad.com link on description and thank you so much for you guys who already subscribed to the channel